Gita Project Manager Mike Cruz said today that a formal letter of termination went out today to a Colorado developer who was in negotiations on a 99-year lease for the 582-acre plot of Ancestral Land Trust property in Finnegadgen, the old FAA site. Joel Tribadini made the billion-dollar offer public last week before the Ancestral Lands Commission, urging them to accept the offer. The commission, however, was advised by their legal counsel, Bill Bischoff, that they had to follow the new law, requiring the Finnegadgen property to be turned over to the former Teeds and landowners as compensation for land they lost to the military more than 60 years ago. Tribadini said he was representing a Colorado developer named Tebow, owned by Stephen Tebow. And some have questioned whether Tebow's pockets were deep enough to afford the billion-dollar offer. But Gita was actually carrying out negotiations with a Tebow subsidiary known as Jortberg Properties, created by Richard Jortberg, a Boulder-based appraiser. The investors backing the billion-dollar deal are shareholders in Jortberg, and we don't know who they are, although PNC News has learned that at least one of them is an ex-admiral. Jortberg is doing business on Guam as Agui Point Development, whose officers are Tribadini, his wife, and Richard Jortberg. And the primary investors of Agui Development are Tebow Partnership and Jortberg Associates. Last week, Jortberg Agui sent a letter to Gita just hours before the Teeds and Land Swap bill was signed into law, formally notifying the agency that it had accepted all of Gita's terms and they requested a lease. Tribadini told PNC News last week that it's their position that they had a valid agreement that should be honored. Tribadini has declined to say whether they will pursue legal action and has reserved further comment about the termination notices from Gita until he speaks to his backers in Colorado. But he told PNC News today that this is not going to end. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.